have your pretest scores, your pretest, post test for your each standard. You have the pretest, post test. You have the growth, the difference between the uh, the pretest and post test for everything. So we're going to be doing some graphing because graphing kind of shows off what you were able to do in a really kind of you know obvious way. So uh, let's start out by you're going to need to submit two graphs uh, for the instructor to see. Uh, and one is the one that, that most people want to see. Okay, so we'll hold down the uh, command key and start clicking on uh, the pretest and post test for each standard. We'll click on the pretest and post test for the whole thing. We'll come down here and get our numbers for each of these. And we'll come over here to the chart. Ooh, I hope this works. I wasn't there to start with. Yes, there it is. We don't need this series one thing in here. And uh, there you have it. Your uh, your pretest and post test for standard one, standard two, standard three, and the total. Let's you know. I, I want to. I want to make my uh, make my total here, since it's the actual pretest. Uh, I'll make it a slightly different color. So you, you click it twice. You kind of have to be careful. It's it kind of finicky on the on the whole clicking it twice thing. And maybe I'm going to make the, uh, the I don't know the pretest here. Um, oh, see, I told you it was finicky. You have to make sure that you just get the, the, the bar that you want and, and you get it twice so that the uh, display comes up. You get a little jumpy on it and, uh, and you end up having uh, more bars clicked than you, uh, than you needed. So, uh, so you could do something like that if you wanted to. So you had your that separated out. Again, you could get fancy. You can come over here and choose, uh, you know, something that's going to look a little three D and and that. But as I said, I may have not mentioned this that you know, for the most part, you just want to see flat out what did they do. And I'm not sure that getting uh, too fancy about that is uh, is in your best interest. You may decide that you want it, since this is not on a 100-point scale, you double-click on the, uh, the line over there, and you, you can change and say, okay, well, that's up, it only goes up to 90, and that's kind of exaggerating my case, and I want to be honest here. So they didn't quite make it to, to 100. So this still looks pretty good. Here's where they were, where they ended up. Again, you can change the colors or, or what have you. Um, when you uh, want to save this you just make sure you have to make sure that that you don't click on anything in particular that you have the whole uh, you click the outside border of it uh, come over here to uh, copy and then you can just uh, I already had a sheet of paper up here for a, or a blank uh, page up here for word I uh, just uh, cut and uh, paste that there and there's my graph for the whole class. So we'll uh, come back to here and come get another uh, another graph. Um, one of the things I might be interested in is a growth graph for each student, so I can kind of see, okay, which students, you know, how did they do? Um, come over here to the uh, student, click on their this may or may not work Click on the first name now when you're doing a whole column and you want to get everything that's next to it you don't use the command you use the shift key so you hold down the shift key you get that whole bunch and then this let's go over here and then you have to press down on the command key click that someone wants to sell me a sword and then you uh, you drop down here holding on to you know Hold the shift key down and you light up that whole column. And now let's see if we uh, if we did okay here. And 
and in fact we did. Here's the growth total. Get rid of that again. And let's make this a little bit bigger so we can uh, see what we got. And so you can see for, for every student, here's the, uh, here's the average growth for the total group. So you can see kind of how that did. But what you have here is it shows you uh, um, how the students increased. You know, you have poor Jackie here who doesn't look like she did, or he did. Um, Eisner, if I remember, was doing pretty well to start out with. Let's, uh, let's take a look over here if at... Uh, uh, where is he? Because um, I did the first names. And uh, he should be... There he is. Iterata Ito Eisner. Um, or Eisner Iterata, sorry. I was reading him from the phone book. Um, yeah, it didn't have a lot of growth. Yeah, it was Everett that was uh, that did really well. Um, but here you have a chart for your whole class. Each student, you see which students grow the most, which are, and you have your your total. So this is another really good good graph for you to have. So again, we'll make sure that that's uh, copied there. That you have everything, and you can uh, Command C or come up to the here and hit copy. Uh, go to that uh, page. Roll down here, and hopefully it'll fit right on here. I'm not sure where it's going to show up now. Oh, it's on top. Yeah, that's fine. So, and we use the first names. I could have picked the last names. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, save this uh, as a document PDF. Either way, it doesn't make any difference, and you send this off to instructor and he'll just be all excited about how uh, and you know sometimes sometimes you don't see a lot a lot of growth you you didn't hit the right things but that's informative too um, to be able to figure out what went right and what went wrong and if, if you're you're not seeing huge amounts of growth uh, to, to, to try to figure out well what happened this time um, what could I do differently uh, one last thing um, this this growth chart you can do something uh, that, that's kind of cool for your uh, for your students if uh, if you were so inclined and that is that you could go through here where's where's my uh, my buddy Everett who uh, who did uh, I thought did pretty well on the final I'm not sure if he's the best but anyway well we'll, we'll pick Everett um, let's say you wanted to uh, you wanted to make a graph that that showed how well uh, ever it did. And uh, again, you can just pick out the things that you want here. Um, and maybe you want his, uh, his pre and his uh, post for each standard, just like you did for the total, pre and post for the test. And then let's come down here and pick, uh, still holding on to the command, um, there's Everett. Now I switch over to the the shift key so I can get this. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to do that. That would give me all of my. I have to pick out the individual numbers here. I'd have I'd have everything for uh, for poor old uh, Everett. But yeah, he he did pretty well. So let's see how uh, how that looks. Um, doesn't look right. See this this is. Everybody, maybe not everybody, but this happens to me a lot. <laughs> and maybe it was because I didn't have uh, click on his, his name here, too. Um, mentioned before, I find this very, uh, very idiosyncratic when it comes to what it's, uh, how it kind of functions here. You happen to hit the wrong thing, and... Uh, and, you know, for instance, if I would have hit his name, his first name, since I didn't have the top, it probably wouldn't have liked that either. So, we'll see if I did it right this time. Yep, there he is, Mr. Egging. Um, and 
and you could have a graph that you, uh, if you want to take the time that you sent home for each kid, that would make uh, make parents proud, or at least make you proud of uh, what you were able to do. Um, so you know, that's uh, a little extra thing um, in terms of uh, being able to send graphs home uh, with uh, parents for to see how their kids did. Next up, we're going to be dealing with you making up growth chart graphs just like the big wigs in, in Indianapolis do for the, uh, for the schools, but we're going to do it just for your classroom so you know what, how that whole thing works.